Welcome to my basement, everybody, especially you, Travis Norton from United Front Games. <laughs> so good to have you in the house, my friend. Thank you. Uh, we have a live studio audience today, too, which is, <laughs> which is incredible. Uh, <laughs> uh, so let's talk about uh, Smash and Grab. This is uh, United Front Games' brand new baby. This is the yep. company, of course, oh, that brought us uh, Mod Nation Racers. Don't pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. Uh, who uh, brought us Mod Nation Racers and also um, uh, Sleeping Dogs, yep. two games that couldn't be more different from each other. Yes. And now you're uh, entering a whole new foray. You also did uh, Little Big Planet kart racing yep, as well, yep, which was well. super cool. And they should totally update that for the PlayStation 4. What the hell is Sony waiting for? Well, Sony were waiting for the call. I mean, honestly, that would be amazing with uh, in oh. 60 frames per second, whipping around with yep. all that creativity. Oh, yep. my God. Sony. Don't make me do <laughs> your work for you. <laughs> Give these guys a call. Anyways, Smash and Grab is your own baby. Yes. And uh, you started work on this for oh, Nexon, no, no, no. right? Yep. Okay. Yep. All right, well, take us in. What is the concept? So the concept here is it's um, it's an online 3v3 uh, multiplayer competitive game. Okay. Um, it's hard to really pin down to one genre. Yep. Um, but what it does do is, uh, is online melee combat, which you don't see a whole lot of. Right. Um, and kind of in an urban setting, uh, you know, not your hyper realistic future or fantasy setting, but kind of yeah, near future urban setting. When I saw the screens and some of the uh, the, the video and, and the teases for this, it yep. rem immediately reminded me of uh, Streets of Rage. Yeah, yeah. So it kind of has that old like uh, beat em up feel. And yep. um, on the surface, it, it is about you know, beating up the enemies and all that kind of stuff. But there is some cool strategy elements yeah, that are kind of tucked, tucked away beneath that, uh, that surface layer that it, Make it a lot of fun. Okay, well, I'm only at level one in this game. Right. I've only <laughs> just <laughs> yeah. scratched the surface. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Yep. I only see it as a brawler. That's the only exactly. thing that I know right now about yep. this game. But yep. take us in, so, yeah, play so it, and I, it. I, for the record, I play with a controller because okay. this thing feels like a console game. Yeah, right? yeah, no, and, and you totally can. I'm just used to playing with mouse and keyboard because I'm at the office. And okay. Big PC gamer at home. So, so And right now, it's only on the PC. It's only on the PC. And it's um, free right now free this, this weekend. Free this weekend, yes, on Steam. So if you want to check it out, by all means, go on Steam and, uh, yeah, give it a Wait till we're done talking, though. Okay? Yes, don't be yes, rude. Yes. All right? Yes. Unless you've got another screen, you can second screen <laughs> us. That's okay. But uh, don't play until you see the game and we find out a little bit more about it. Exactly. T take us in, my friend. Okay, so it's like I said, it's three on three. But mm -hmm. uh, when you're playing, you have your leader that you control. And yep. we have seven leaders here. Uh, currently, there's two more coming. Okay. Uh, and there'll be more down the road. But for now, this is what we're launching with. Okay. And they're broken up into three different classes. Um, so you have your lights, which are kind of your, um, you know, Fast melee kind of guys. Uh, we have an assassin, um, kind of an AOE damage guy, and then oh. kind of a jack of all trades. Okay, cool. Um, and then you've got your heavies. So these are kind of your big cruisers, tanky guys, lots of health, that kind of stuff. Okay. Uh, this is Trip Off. He's really good at looting. So how you win in Smash and Grab is by uh, smashing open stores and looting the cash, and the first team to fifty thousand dollars wins. So while some guys excel in combat, Trip Off is really good at looting. So you can kind of play that style too, more playing the objective rather than just doing. Combat. Okay, real quick, how did you guys come up with the names and the character designs? Um, that that's a that's a good question. There's a whole team of designers and artists, and it's a like big drip whole process. Off. Yeah. Where, did, where does that come where did, from? I don't know. I don't that's know where drip off came sounds from. Sounds kind of disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds very cruel. Like, <laughs> like does, so, does somebody at UFG have to <laughs> so deal with? Someone drip, has drip, drip off at drip UFG. Off? And okay. That's, yeah, that's really yeah I don't. I wanted to <laughs> delicately ask that, but yeah, that's that's gross, man. Yeah, I know. Okay, so drip off. Yeah. And uh, I, I mean, there's. There is, it's violent as hell, yes, this guy. Yes, like, there's blood is. on those nails right yeah, there. Yeah, no, he's, he's seen, seen some shit. Okay, all right. So, um, so yeah, we've got him. Doom Child, he's our other heavy character. Okay. I um, mean, the ones are a little bit different. So all those guys are melee, and then we've got our range characters. So um, they're a bit harder to play because you kind of got to... It's a shooter. She's a shooter, yeah. yeah. But if they get in your face, if the melee guys get in your face, it can be tough to get out of. Ah, um, okay. They have tools to deal with that, though. So this guy, Scatter, he actually has a nail bomb that's proximity-based that you can place down. So okay. you could set traps in front of you and then be shooting guys, and when they try and come up to you, they'll get blown up by the nail No bomb. sniper classes, no medics, no. Right? Um, So okay. Upscribe does have an AoE heal. Okay. So he is the one guy with the leaders who can do some healing. Okay. Um, but the other cool thing you can do is, as part of your gang, you have a lieutenant. And so your lieutenant, um, they have their own abilities and passives as well, and we do have uh, Doc here, so he can heal you when you get in trouble. Okay, but it's, a, a med pack it's not class-based, it's character-based. Character you have to choose yeah. your characters. Exactly. Is there a, an ability to 
change the look of these characters yep. and customize them. Yep. So we've got a bunch of different vanity items. So for Doc, actually here, as you play, you unlocked, and you can kind of make them look like a. I can't equip them, but a space. And it, I, I think it's important because I know this. This is. I, this is going to be a, f a one price game. It's yes. not free to play. No, Are you guys going to monetize all this stuff, or is it um, is right now? No, every cosmetic that's in there is unlocked through play. There's no uh, buy now button to, to unlock more or anything like that. Okay, so so that was that was the big change with uh, with the game as we went. Uh, hey, hey, uh oh, the whole feed. Surgical uh, precision. That's my style. We're back. Okay. <laughs> See that? Would, let's blame it on the storms. Yes. Storms. Yes. Storms. storms are so windy and and bl blustery out there. Yes. Uh, okay. So that was the one big change with this game is that you. Um, uh, I can't believe we just went out for a second and we're back. <laughs> Technology is ridiculous. Okay. So, uh, but you you guys were going to be free to play for a long time with another company with Nexon, yep. right? And then you took the reins back on this thing, and you said, no, let's not go free to play. Yeah, we'll and I think there might be approach. confusion still about this, right? Because th I think the idea that UFG was working on a free to play kind of hit the internet, and people were talking about it. Yeah, there wasn't, I don't think I this think was ever tied to that. Like, there was kind okay. of an announcement about we're working with, with Nexon on something, but Got it was you. never identified as, um, as this title. And then, yeah, okay. we've kind of so taken I've the reins back now. And I've just created that confusion. <laughs> You're welcome. It's okay. Okay, it's okay, so this is not, not a free-to-play game. No. There is no BS, uh, you know, monetary sort of, uh, let's take your pennies and you get this. No, nope. you get all the leaders, all the lieutenants, all the soldiers. Gotcha. Everything, everything is included in the price. And, and uh, I mean, you guys are aces at uh, customization options. Yeah. You've done two uh, games with tons and tons of, of artists, uh, variety, yeah. right? Is that something that we're going to see in this? Yeah, yeah. Just actually, since uh, since our closed beta, we've already added a bunch more cosmetics. We've got our artists. They love doing that kind of stuff. Awesome. They're creating all sorts of cool outfits and costumes and stuff. We've just added uh, Halloween masks, too, so there's kind of a creepy like zombie mask that you can put on. Awesome. There we go. Right, let's give, let's give Upscribe that beautiful zombie mask. That's creepy. <laughs> That's cool, and you can do these seasonal kinds of things. Are you going to yeah, do exactly. any... Uh, can you do any homages or any like uh, insider jokes about some of your previous uh, work? Uh, Are we going to see any sleeping dogs kind of? Never say never. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I don't know uh, if that's in the pipeline right now, but yeah. I don't know. Who knows? I mean, Who sleeping, knows where we can go with Sleeping dogs this? in this kind of brawler type setting actually kind of works. Could be, yeah. Yeah. It, it could definitely fit. Okay. So you can create your you character. Your guide. You got to level up to acquire all the stuff and you probably earn game in game money and stuff like that as you go. Um, looting, so right? it's just it's based on experience. So as you level up your leader, so uh -huh. you can see uh, if we go here, we should see where so you're level two and upscribe. I assume you've played maybe one game with him. Yeah. So as you play him, you would level him up and you would unlock cosmetics for him okay. uh, up to level 15. Okay. Um, you also unlock too, if you really want to dive down, we have this uh, perk system, which is kind of like a skill tree that you've seen in other games. So it'll let you. Um, as you level up, kind of tailor your playstyle for your leader too. Okay. So um, again, if you want to focus on damage or maybe survivability or maybe looting and, and stuff like that. So you, there's really, if you want to, a lot of customization and play options to kind of dive into. There. That sounds great. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so there is a lot of depth in it. Yeah. But but you've beaten the crap out of. But you've beaten the crap out of people. All right, let's let's watch some of that. Okay, so let's do that. Okay. So maybe we'll just go in versus bots first, so that we don't. Uh, Internet people. Okay. All right. So, oh, we're going solo right yeah, now. Yeah, we'll go solo for now. Okay. And then if we need to Are stop, the internet people out. already fierce? Like, uh, is, is, oh, yeah. There's, yeah. Some, there's yeah. some really high level players. Yeah. Like and how do you handle matchmaking like that? Like um, so, behind the scenes, we have uh, kind of your skill that we keep track of. Uh, right. And over time, we get a better estimate of what that is. And then when you queue for matchmaking, we'll try and match up with similarly skilled people. Um, so it's not one one guy in front of a computer yeah, it's not one doing guy. Like a, a switchboard, switchboard yeah. thing? No, that's the. Yep. Those player days A done. over here looking yeah. for player B. Um, yeah, no, no, it's all, all handled in the background. Um, we have made some improvements. There was some uh, things we identified when we did the closed beta where we could have maybe made matches a bit more fair, so that's in there now. So okay, be, cool. Fantastic. I noticed when I was running around that the world is actually quite large. Are there different cities that we're going to, or is it all within yep. one city? Yep, so we have, uh, this is Upmarket, and this is the home of the Rooks. So okay. when we're looking at the leaders, there's three different gangs. Uh, mm -hmm. The Rooks, uh, the 
Doom Riders, who are kind of the more metal guys, these guys. Okay. Uh, yeah. And the Dappers. Mad Max. Yeah, Mad Max. Okay. Um, and so this is the Rook's home these, turf. These are EDM fans. Right? Yes, yes. Right? They're off yes. to a rave. Yeah, and then there's us Suck with that lovely. Get hurt. <laughs> okay, that's <laughs> awesome. Everybody ready? <laughs> um, okay, yeah, so this is this is how the match starts. So it was the three of us, and we've each got our crew of, of five. Okay. And usually off the bat, what you want to do is... So um, everybody, even their different colors, are all on the same team. We're all on the same team, yeah. Okay. So it's the three of us against uh, the other team. That's awesome. So the other team has a drip off, a uh, ten blade, and a nail. Okay. So usually the first thing you want to do is go smash open your class's weapon store. Okay. So since I'm playing a light, in the minimap you can see they have the icon kind of looks like an arrow. Yeah. So right. that's where I'm going to go to get my weapon. Okay. Now he's working on this cash store, so I'm probably going to go for the next one. So uh, there were other weapons that I I smashed into, but I couldn't yep. carry them. So when you smash open a weapon store that isn't for your leader, yeah. you'll actually clip it onto your gang, so either your lieutenant or your soldier. Okay, okay, gotcha. So you can upgrade them. Okay. And do you upgrade or do they automatically upgrade? As soon as you as soon as you loot it, that'll equip it to them. Okay. Um, now as I loot from the cash store, so I will get materials that I can use to upgrade my weapon. So you can see kind of at the bottom there. We've got uh, one of three needed scrap, and we're missing the other ones. But as we loot stores and kill other leaders, we'll gain uh, materials that we can upgrade our weapons. Uh, and you're crafting on the fly? How do you do yeah, it? Yeah, so there's these machines kind of around the map. So here's one here, these orange ones. There's okay. one in the base and then two out in the world. Okay. So you can always go up to those, yeah. And, you know, so right now we don't have the materials, but that's the, the two choices we have. That's right cool. Now. And yeah. can people come and start wailing on you? When yeah, you exactly. Oh, yeah. Oh, so there's so a bit of risk by standing time? up okay, there. Okay, got yeah. you. Okay. So maybe we'll go... Let's see if we can find the enemy. Brooks, run it down! down. That looks great. You yeah. Got, you guys have done an amazing job populating this world with interesting stuff. And this is early access, by the way. This yep. isn't available. You can buy it and play it right now, yep. but it's not finished. You're still polishing and tuning. Are you content complete? Uh, like no. No. Okay. So we've got, like, like you saw in that preview, we've got those two other leaders for the dapper that we're trying to get uh, finished, and then we're also working on a new map. And of course, let's continue on so, depending on how this, this plays and how many people pick it up and how, and how well it goes, yep. you can just keep adding content to it. Well, and that's the thing with Early Access, too, is that we really want to get the community's feedback. So we want people on the forum saying, hey, you know, I love this, I don't like this so much, I think you guys should add this next to You know, we're there listening to you guys. We've got our moderators, intelligent yep. moderators on there. Take nice. Feedback. Hello, moderators. <laughs> uh, now, so th this is being classified, and, and uh, we did it today in our news, or yesterday in our news, that we kind of sort of tied it to a MOBA to or is that something that you guys are comfortable with or I don't know that we go out and say for sure that it that it's like yeah this is a new MOBA from United Front Games there's yeah. definitely elements of it uh -huh. um, but it doesn't I mean there's kind of the idea I guess of lanes that you would get in a MOBA but that kind of collapses a little quickly beyond getting your first weapon you don't really hang out in a one given lane after that right um, and there's no waves of minions, but you've got your, your soldiers with you. Got your um, buddies, yeah. yeah. And there's no uh, resource management and building. Yeah, there's no structures that can be destroyed. The resource management kind of comes from uh, the cash stores and stuff. So right, just for weaponry. For weaponry and uh, and the the money that goes towards your support. So right now we've kind of looted all of the weapon stores. Or not sorry, not weapon. The cash stores for this round. Uh -huh. So at the top you can see there's 50 seconds left before. Uh, the, the hackers that are running the Smash and Grab competition will open up more stores. So then there'll be some new cash stores, okay. next tier of weapons, all that kind of stuff opening up in the fight over. Okay, okay. So it, it's about uh, earning as much money as you can. Exactly, yeah. Right. Okay, cool. So now we have enough... Uh, There's a little Hunger Games aspect to this thing as well, too. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Little bit. Okay. Uh, we have enough materials to craft now, so I'll go up to here. And so we have two choices. we got the Brain Freeze, which will uh, apply a... Frost slow to my targets. Okay. Or the protester, um, which is good against smashing stores and giving you move speed. I like going for the protester. Um, it is useful the whole game because everyone always wants move speed, right? So whenever right. you're traveling around, it's good to have this guy out. Kind of like the old Counter Strike days, if you remember running yes. with the knife, right? Yeah, you yeah. Go faster with that. So yeah. Run with your sonic hammer. Okay. And, and that's now, the protester. That's the protester. Yeah. Uh, the the New crafted weapons. So, crafted weapon for that. so, so that's that's persistent. For this match, yeah. For and the in match. the next match, we'll start at the beginning again. Okay. Gotcha. Um, and so now we've hit phase two. You can see the timer's gone back up to uh, to four minutes. And so this is the machete store where I can get my next weapon. Is there a campaign to the game? Is there some some sort of progression single player type of experience? Um, we or? don't have we don't have anything like that right now. Okay. Um, who knows in the future if people are interested in you know PVE content, then yeah, that could be something we really look at. But for right now, yeah, it's the, it's the competitive three on three. Right, and you uh, can mode. play against bots to train. Exactly. So that's kind of what I did here, right? So if you're not you know you're not ready to go um, online yet, we do have a tutorial mode that'll kind of 
prompt you through gameplay, so you'll, you'll go up to the store and be like, this is a cash store, smash it to get cash and all that kind of stuff, but if you're beyond that but still not ready for online, you can just do this uh, with bot mode. Are you leveling up still in bot mode? Yes, I think you get 50% uh, XP. 50% XP? Yeah. Okay, and then what are the perks that you get that are persistent as you level up? Like, what's going to keep people coming back Going back. So that would be um, those kind of perk trees that I showed you. As yeah. you play, you unlock more perks deeper in the trees um, okay. through there. Okay. And, uh, and then cosmetics too to kind of trick your guy out so that you cooler than all the level ones. Right? Gotcha. And then in terms of combat too, it's kind of a rock, paper, scissors. So you've got smash, you've got counter or block like that guy just did, and then uh -huh. you've got grab. So if I see him swinging at me, I can tap space to uh, to counter that. If I see him in like a block state, I can grab him out of that. Wow. Yeah. So you can run around and just, you know, left click if you want, but yeah. there is a bit more depth there. Yeah, you, yeah. You know, it's amazing the, uh, the net code that must be necessary to yeah. do that though because you're talking about all of that streaming from how many different players at one time? Uh, six players but then you've got your uh, the AIs as well on your team right so, so it's really six players over the 30 internet, characters right. that doing all of that animation and all of those choices yeah. in real time yeah. that's cool that's yeah. impressive and every few minutes too these prize drops will come down and they can contain either uh, a bunch of money or a mega boost okay. so that was the money there uh, if you get the mega boost, it's something crazy like 70% damage boost, uh, move speed increase, all sorts of good things. So if you see someone glowing purple, be careful they got the mega boost. Does it feel a bit weird doing a Riot game um, with this election that's happening in the U.S. right now? <laughs> with with what, what would probably happen if uh, if Donald Trump wins or <laughs> loses? Gets it? Yeah, it's, um, it's, it feels like we're, we're destined for <laughs> something like this in reality. Yeah, there's been, there's been a lot of characters saying you know, that kind of stuff, or like the Purge movies and, the Purge, and, and yeah. Warriors and, and all that kind of stuff. And I mean, at the end of the day, it's a video game. It is a game. Yeah. And you're just uh, letting go of some tensions, I exactly. think. Yeah. Like this, you yeah. just got tagged. What's the breakup internally at UFG? How many people play on mouse and keyboard? How many people play on controller? I think it's it's high. I think it's probably like 90% mouse and keyboard. Oh, really? I guess you've been developing. But yeah, yeah, everyone. I mean, you're in there programming or doing whatever, right? And then yeah. you want to hop into a game. It's just a lot easier to... That just seems so weird to me. I know, because usually, yeah, with yeah. brawlers, right? It's like mouse yes. and keyboard. Or sort of uh, keyboard. And so, I mean, a console thing must be... In the works, right? A plan for this to come to console. Yeah, so we'd love to go to console. We're hoping that the successful early access on Steam will enable us to get there. Okay. Um, yeah, for now, we're, I think we're trying to focus on just getting this to where we want it to be. Right. Like right now, we wouldn't, we wouldn't launch this on console. Right? Okay. Is there a way to jump around and see some of the other environments, or do we have to? Uh, we kind of got to through. Uh, no. So uh, to start, we have two maps and modes. So this okay. is Ransack um, okay. on Uptown. Okay. Um, the second map and mode is called Take Back, and that's on Steel City, and that's kind of a take on Capture the Flag. Okay. So it's similar in that there's, you know, stores and um, and weapon shops and all that kind of stuff, but also every three minutes, I think it is, mm -hmm. a, uh, one of those prize drops comes down and in there is a box that you're trying to return back to your base uh, for $10,000. So okay. that can get a little chaotic because there's a lot of stuff to worry about. I um, wouldn't recommend maybe hopping in for your first game, but if you're looking to switch it up, it's a lot of fun too. Okay, so... You're a new player, you yep. run into this, yep. you don't know what the hell you're looking at. <laughs> Is there a quick way to kind of gauge, like, don't go fight that guy? Yeah, so I would say, and this is a mistake I see a lot of new players make, yep. is understand that when you see enemies, you don't have to fight them. Okay. Right? A lot of people see an enemy like, oh, there's a bad guy, I'm going to go fight him. But they'll right. run into a situation where it's one on two or one on three yeah, or right. two on three. Right. And that's maybe not a fight that you want to take, right? So if they're grouped up as three and you're on your own, Run away, see if there's a story to call instead of going in there. Because okay. when you die, you actually give up 3% of your team's cash to the enemy team. Oh, okay. So early on, that's not that much, but when it's late game and say 45,000 to 45,000, that's a big deal if you lose 3% and right. you can give it to them. Right. Well, and you're trying to get to 50,000? 50, 50,000 is the goal, yeah. Okay, gotcha. Okay. So in this particular situation, like pan the camera around to see all these guys? Yeah. Oh, they're all your guys? Yeah, these are all my guys. Okay. We'll kill them. All right. So when you go into the next group of enemies, Dominate. yeah. Is there a way to know who is the toughest and who's going to be the most badass? So when you see a name above it, that yep. means that's the leader. Okay. If they don't have names above them, they might be straggling soldiers or lieutenants. Those guys, you don't have to worry about as much and okay. they're a little bit easier to take down. But yeah, if you see two nameplates kind of floating there, two lieutenants Which or two leaders. presumably are other people online. Exactly. And they've played this for a while. That's yeah. what you got to be nervous <laughs> Okay. Do, is the level prompt up there too, so you know what level they're at? Um, so we have a little badge kind of under your uh, profile when you're loading in there, and that, okay. that designates what level 
level they're at, so we don't explicitly show the exact level, so I you kind of can get a gauge of where they're at. From that. Okay. And see, so here I snatch open the shotgun store, and you'll see my soldiers now have shotguns. Wow. Equipped, okay. Even though I don't. Okay. Cool. So how do the shotguns not win everything? <laughs> That's the thing. Once everyone gets there, so I've got my ninja sword, which is my uh, tier four weapon. Okay. The tier four weapons are very strong. Okay. So it's it's like. You know, you get killed and you'll be like, oh man, that, that's, this guy's overpowered, but it's almost yeah. like everyone's overpowered, so everyone has a, the same uh, lethality. There's totally a Counter-Strike kind of vibe to this as well, too, man. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, an ambitious title. Yeah, yeah. No, it, uh, you guys don't do anything easy, right? No. <laughs> is that, is, is yeah, that, is that the UFG motto? Like, 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 yeah, yeah, we're, we're just we're trying to make an impossible game right now. Let's just try to do that. That's totally not being made at all. <laughs> Yeah, this, is, this is really crazy. So there he does, the general has a move called line in the sand where you saw him kind of drag his axe along the ground and, and hold up. So I've been standing in front of him. Yeah. Um, he would have swung and, and hit me about 10 times. But I saw him do that so you can actually uh, evade by quickly tapping a direction. Okay. So by doing that I was able to, he was left kind of standing there holding his axe, right? Waiting for someone to come back. Cool. So yeah, you can kind of, yeah, exactly. As, okay. you, as you play more you kind of uh, learn what the other leaders do and what to expect from them and stuff like that. Okay. Get to know their, their animation. Yeah, exactly. Okay, cool. So there you go. We, we, that's at the end of the match, these big stores open up there. You, you won. I won. Yes. Good job. <laughs> and so this takes you back where? Where do you go? We'll just go back to the front menu now. So, okay. so yeah, our team won. We, we made it out of there. We'll see the score screen and see how many. Uh, they go 11 and 0. Right on. Not bad. That's amazing. Is, is that what people can expect? That, you know, once they get this down, like, You've put tons and tons of hours, <laughs> but, but a lot of hours into this game. Are, are you are you seeing that? Like people sort of crack into this next level of being able to play this, and they're just unstoppable. There's there's some guys who got into it in the beta and just fell in love with it, and yeah. they're like level. I think our top guy is like over level 200 now, which oh, is crazy. Wow. He's put in a crazy amount of hours. So and yeah, they're like, how do you know, like never see him? Like, <laughs> do it, like if he's in a match, just like <laughs> run out. run for Look your out. life, right? Yeah. How do you know that? Though? Um. I guess so just you might by see reputation. By reputation, you might yeah. see that badge too, right? We have the badges, yeah. so I mean, he's got like forty badges. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, he'd have a bunch of stars on his, I think. Um, <laughs> okay. One distinction to make though is that level is a, a, a representation of time play, but not necessarily skill. So someone, oh, okay. you know, could play at a ton, but maybe they kind of hit their skill ceiling at twenty hours, and okay. maybe you know when you get to twenty, you'll be way better than them. Okay. So it's not like a, it's not like Street Fighter or something like that. No. Yeah. I just like. Don't be, don't be too afraid of the high-level guys. Okay, gotcha. There's nothing they have that you don't. Okay, cool. Thanks for leveling me up. Yeah, way. no, no this, worries. This is very kind of you. <laughs> That's awesome. So now we're going to go check out the other area? Yeah, let's let's go check out that map. Yeah, I'm in. Take back. Okay. And maybe I'll try a different leader as well. And this one's uh, this one's called Take Back. Yeah, it's called Take Back. Okay. The mode is called Take Back, and the map is called Steel City. Okay. And that's actually the home of the Doom Riders. So and and so we have two maps two right maps now. Two maps and modes right now, yeah. Okay. Two maps and modes. Yeah, uh, in but early so access e each and map a has a mode. You can't play ransack on Steel City. Right okay, now. gotcha. So okay, gotcha. Everything's yeah. tied. Okay, yeah. and so and there's still more. There's another environment that's coming. Yep. Before that'll the be, end. that'll be the Dapper's uh, home location. Okay, and another mode with that too. Or? Um, that's still up in the air. I think we're gonna go with ransack for it. Okay. Um, there's other modes that are kind of uh, in the talking planning phase gotcha. right now, but but not that far along. That's yet. cool. I guess you you start with. Uh, Let's do it. When it's kind of like a, a PvP type of thing like this, you start with your world and your characters and yep. your animations yep. and, and the weaponry, and then you can just keep mixing and matching. Some exactly. Stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And um, hmm. yeah, I don't I don't know how much we've announced about the new maps. So I don't know how much I can say, but it's going to be. I'm liking the way it's shaping up. Um, we haven't done a full play test on it yet, but okay. I sit next to the map designer, so I get to sneak peek at the office. Where are the cops? Where are the cops? So actually. Um, at the front of those big stores, uh, when they open up, the guards come down. So we may have missed them. I should have pointed them out there. But okay. there's these guards with um, shock weapons. So be careful of them. If you try and take them one on one, you're probably not going to make it. So okay. you kind of want to tackle those big stores with uh, one or two of your teammates. Okay. Gotcha. Or if you can catch the enemy mid fight with them, that can be a good time to pick them up, and then you get to smash into the big store and okay, get all cool. the spoils. Is there, um, a, you know, a way to kind of get into the fiction? Did you guys create a comic? Thing or anything um, like so we don't have any of that, but every character does have a bio. So when yep. you're at the screen here, you can go to character bio, and there's like a little bit of uh, you know little, little lore uh, okay. about where the character came from and, and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Where is the is this in Detroit? 
<laughs> where, did, where did you set all this? Um, I don't know. I don't know if we, uh, if we have a real, real world uh, equivalent for where this is. Okay. Somewhere in uh, North America, somewhere I guess, in the near future. You wouldn't want to be yes, in yes, real life, yes, but it's a video be. game, yes. and you could just have fun exactly. and release some tension. Yes. So, okay, who should I? Who should I be next? Maybe uh, we'll let's beat one of the dapper. Yeah. Well, okay, you want to yeah. be? Let's do a template. Yeah. Template. Melee assassin. Yeah, look at her. She's awesome. She is very popular. Yeah. Very popular. She's actually. got a lead pipe. Now, do we want to go? No, nah, I mean, we'll just get right into it. Yeah. Because you got to wait, right? Yeah, we'll have to yeah. wait to find matches. Yeah. So. Cool. Blake, if anybody's got questions, they can shoot them at us. You can just tell me, and then I'll and I'll repeat it. Warconius on Twitch wants to know if you'll be able to play as the cops. Uh, as of right now, no, we don't have plans. Okay. The cops are kind of the neutral, well, not neutral faction, but the non-playable faction. Where do people go to bug the shit out of you guys until you put <laughs> until in we things they love? Yeah. Uh, Steam forums. Steam, Steam forums, forums is the place to okay. uh, to post. We've got, we yeah, my team is, is always on there. Have at it, have internet. At it, go yeah. for it. Yeah. Bug the shit out of things you want, right? Yeah. Do, uh, can you take uh, like Steam forum polls and things like that? Can people create things like that? Um, I'm not sure if they support that actually. Okay. Um, but but yeah, people are making suggestions on. Bug this shit the out of Steam <laughs> until they put polls <laughs> yes, on it yes. for the developers. Yes, we okay. know what we want. Yes, cool. So this is Steel City. Okay. Um, like you can see, there's still the weapon stores and all that, but there's actually the first crate that spawned in the middle here. So there's a bit of strategy on if you want to get your weapon upgrade or okay. if you should just go for it. Okay. Personally, I like to just go for it. You can see there's this big brawl going on there for it. So everyone's trying to smash that thing open to get. Now is the is the inside. the meta sort of deal here still to get 50k? Exactly. But okay. getting the box gets you 10. So Got that's, you. That's a big chunk. That's it, right? okay. Right. So no looting. No. If you race for this thing, get it back. But where do you got to take it? Uh, you got to take it back to your base. Okay. So. Tell you that this really cool That's awesome. box like that. So I'm gonna pick up the box here. So there could be three on each side. Yes. Three human players. Three on human each players. Side. On each okay, side. got you. And so that in total that would be. So six players total in a match, but then everyone has their. Um, yeah. So in total in of characters, it's like. Fifteen on fifty. Fifteen on fifteen. Okay. Crazy. Yeah. And then once they're dead, are they dead? Uh, there's a respawn timer that uh, grows as the match progresses. So in in phase one, it's pretty quick, but by the end, it can be really punishing if you die. Okay. And it's like you know ten thousand difference between the teams, and you try right. desperately to get that. Right. And the box two over time will charge up. So I see her coming. I'm gonna let that shock attack go. Oh, she got me. This is great. I, it's so on the nose. <laughs> it's so you know like very focused in what it wants to do. Yeah, exactly. But it's also doing a bunch of original stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's really cool. I don't know how you play it with a mouse and keyboard, though, man. It's freaking me out. <laughs> long, long time PC gamer, so yes. I'm, just, I'm right at home with you. That's cool. Blake, if there's other questions, you can feel free. Feel free to ask us anything, guys. Facebook, Twitch, YouTube. Yeah, we captured that box. You can see our score now is now 12, 12,900 to 400. Right so on. Way ahead. That's amazing. Yeah. And so how long until another one comes out? Uh, next one's going to come in, I think, another minute. Two minutes, it should spawn. So, okay. So, yeah, so now you can kind of, like, try and position for that. Or you can see there's these cash shows that haven't moved yet. So okay. So I'm getting those. Okay, go for it. Ah. Uh, not really. Yeah, we can't, right? Yeah, we can't. I mean, we only have the one camera. Yeah, F Facebook is... It doesn't have the same functionality for streaming this stuff as uh, Twitch and YouTube do. Not for us, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I guess we could do uh, another camera from this perspective on Facebook, but that would be another thing, right? Yeah. No, no, Facebook, you just get us. Do you want to reenact what you're doing? <laughs> I think I did. Ah, 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 ah. Why don't that there go? There we go. Yes, yeah. you can act it out and yes. I'll do the, I'll yeah. the driving. So now the next uh, next crate's come in, so why don't we go... So how did the guys with guns and nail guns and, and uh, you know, the, on, no the, the weaponry that can fire at everybody... Yeah. 
what are their handicaps? Is so, it, is it slow down on between shots or something? Um, or? so they have to reload. They, they okay. don't have unlimited shots. Uh, the crossbow only has one though, and you reload right after that, so it doesn't, oh, it's not yeah. entirely true who, there. Who but would it's take a, a crossbow shooter. to a, a street fight? <laughs> well, surprisingly, yeah. so with the with the shooters, you can actually do charge attacks. If you hold out, hold down attack, you can kind of zoom in and place it. So okay. you, you can, can land headshots too. You so. can be far away. Exactly. Right. It's okay. not like uh, you know across the map. Like there's no sniping like that. There is a, a maximum range on, on all the weapons. But, okay. Okay. Yeah, you can definitely get some of those attacks in there. Um, and then too, if, if uh, a melee character gets in your face, it can be it can be really hard to um, to deal with them sometimes, right? The the melee or the range guys aren't that equipped for close combat. Okay, gotcha. Vintage Roller wants to know how many characters there are. So right now we have seven leaders, um, okay. and we have 13 lieutenants. Okay. Um, and there's also the soldiers too, which I didn't show you, but there's those last three guys who are kind of on your team of five. Yeah. Um, and you can customize them too, so there's um, fighters who are better at damage, looters who are you know, better at looting the stores, and uh, protectors who kind of give you uh, bonus health regen and stuff. Can you level up any of the soldiers so that they become leaders? Um, no. 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 Okay. Your lieutenant levels up though too, so at the end of the match you're, you're leveling up your leader and your lieutenant. Okay, and, but you never play as lieutenants, you only ever play as a leader. Play as a leader. Okay. And kind of choose the lieutenant that you want yeah. to go okay. And then what does the lieutenant do that's different from the soldier? Um, so the lieutenant has uh, an ability. So uh, remember I took Doc in that first game, so yeah. he could heal me. Okay. So he'll cast out on his own whenever I get low on health. Gotcha. So um, you're taking an AI version of one of the main, main well, leader characters. No, they're not the leaders. They're, they're, yeah. they're different characters. They're oh, they are totally. Yeah, okay. Yeah, totally separate. Gotcha. Okay. So, but seven playable characters. Seven playable leader characters. Yes. Okay. Right now in early access, but more to come. Oh, more to come. Okay. Are um, when you, I think when you hit rank ten, you unlock all of the cosmetic outfit for them. Okay. Um, so I mean, but there's no, yeah, I wouldn't say there's per se an ultimate version of them, and you unlock more perks as you go, so you can specialize in different things. Gotcha. Um, yeah. So this is, you know, I'm gonna throw this esports thing out there. Yeah. I mean, but this this seems clearly positioned to attract some interest for esports. Was that a, a conscious effort on uh, the, the part of UFG? Uh, a lot of us at the office are really into esports and, and love following it. Um, yeah. Two of us went down to the international uh, this year. That was fun. So. Yeah, I mean, if it wants to go there, that's awesome. You I wouldn't really say that it, you right? can't really force her. It's no. one of those things where if the community is yeah. there and it happens, then yeah. yeah, by all means, we, we're super into esports. But yeah. it's not like, um, yeah, I just think it's one of those things, right, where you can't really force it. The community has to run. Yeah. Right. It does seem fairly easy to kind of follow the storylines and the and the through lines exactly. of these leader characters yeah. and get a you know an interesting, you know. Head head to head kind of match totally. and broadcast that. Yeah, right. yeah, and we've had tournaments like just in the office playing, and you know, yeah. three computers facing off against each other, and little crowd forums on Fridays, and we have it. And it's, That's yeah, awesome. It's good fun. That's cool. So it looks like the third box is spawned. <laughs> Yeah, it reminds me of, uh, what was that, State of Emergency or something like yeah, that? Yeah, I, I never didn't play that one back in the day, but a lot of people have compared it to that. Yeah. And then I went back and watched some YouTube videos, and you definitely see it somewhere. That was, uh, was that DMA Design, I think? I think so, or, yeah, old yeah. Rockstar. Or yeah, before Rockstar, yeah. yeah. Oh, it could have been Rockstar. It could have been Rockstar by that point. And the Warriors, it's got to be the Warriors yep. vibe, too. Yeah, definitely. Oh, cool, dude. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, there's not, it's... It's a lot of fun, but it's hard to be like, oh yeah, it's this new shooter or this new, right? It's it's kind of its own yeah. unique thing. So there is nothing else to, to like kind of this right now. Yeah. Yeah. Who's your favorite of the characters? It's tough to say. It was drip off for a long time. Yeah. Um, so it's you that has <laughs> yeah, it's the drip off. The secret is out. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Um, yeah, I've been playing a lot of nil lately. I kind of like to bounce around and not, not play character too, too much. Yep. The range guys are a lot of fun. Right. Um, I think there's a lot of uh, perception that range is kind of underpowered because, like I said, if people get in your face, it can be really hard to deal with. But yeah. as you learn how to play them, there's one of the guys on our, our QA tester team who is just a beast on one of the range guys. Right. Like, he is so far ahead of everyone else. It's, it's kind of crazy. Like every other character? 
Um, yeah, he's good with all of them, but he, with that one range guy, he's just like. Oh my god, you, you know. got to show me that. Okay, uh, okay. I'll try. I'll try and play that guy. Next. Okay. So you got killed. I got killed. I got Pummel. pummeled. The soldiers were brutal. Hey, some of the early video stuff that I saw it looked like there, it was even a little more gruesome, a little more violent. Did you guys tone it down a little bit, or cartoony, uh, cartoonize it, or did I just? You missed, there might be. There's a lot of. So every character has a custom animation for grabs, for counters, and it also fills with finishers. Yeah. Those are different ones. So mm -hmm. um, you may not have seen some of the more brutal ones on different characters because they are different characters. So okay, gotcha. Some of the heavy ones when they have those axes and stuff are just those ones are really brutal. Is there dismemberment or? No dismemberment. No. no. Um, Stuff that looks like it should maybe be just going Yeah, on, yeah, yeah. Know, is it M rated or? Um, I don't know. I think I don't know in this Brave New World with Steam and stuff like that. If how the ESRB stuff. Right. Yeah. I guess. When you're it is different. On there, yeah. It looks M rated. Yes. It, I, yeah. I'm sure if if we go to a does box not, coffee on console, it does not look kid friendly. This no, one. No. no, no not for kids. Could you bring home the yes. bacon? How many of these did you bring back already? Um, this is my second or third. All right. Right on. The, um, the AIs, it's funny though, the AIs are so objective driven when you play with them, they're like the Terminator just zeroed on this box and it's their right. mission to get it back to the base. Of course <laughs> it is, yeah. yes. So when you you know when you play with players, sometimes people get distracted by stores and they do this and do that and they don't yeah. even notice the box is going, but the AI well, always knows. That's, this that is early that. access yeah. though. They're going to be playing as hardcore as the uh, you know, the, these esports people, <laughs> they're going to go hardcore on this thing. Blake, if there are other questions, you let us know. Shoot them up. Cool. Cool. Yeah, it's, um, it, I, talking it's to one of the designers, it was, it was the idea around how to, you know, have, like, resources on the map. It wasn't like, I think necessarily, oh, let's make a game about Smash Open Stories. It was, let's make a game about hand-to-hand -hand combat that's melee, and then, hey, what if we had some resources in there too? That would right. be cool to battle over. Right. Yeah, it totally makes sense. Yeah. Have you guys thought of a Donald Trump kind of theme in there? <laughs> a like tie-in? I see a lot of games on like Steam maybe he's uh, an catching enemy. on it. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, maybe, maybe something we should think of. <laughs> Certainly. <laughs> Make this big, ogre, oafish, pig-looking type dude with a weird blonde Crazy. comb over. Yep. and Just throwing that out there. Yeah. One well, of the guys. Artists that you can just listen. <laughs> that'd be fun. I like it. Okay, show us a uh, show us show the range guy. Yeah, range person. Okay. Do you want to do Steel City or uh, whatever, I'm whichever one. Let's do it. Okay. I'll do what's necessary. A few people have sent you friend requests on Steam. Cool. Yeah, my my uh, my gamer tags out there. I <laughs> I I connected this PC to my Xbox account. I noticed a bunch of Xbox oh messages God. popped on the screen too. So hello everybody <laughs> that's sending friend requests. That's cool. Yeah, I'm in. So yeah, these are the lieutenants again, um, okay. and they each have a different thing. So you know, we took the dock before, mm -hmm. uh, but there's this guy called Days, and he has bear spray, which is kind of cool. He'll spray it in the crowd, and they get stunned. Oh, wow. So he's kind of good to have when you have a, uh, a ranged guy, because if someone's coming to get in your face, he might spray them with the bear spray. Bear spray. Yeah. Developed in Canada. <laughs> yeah. There you go. There you go. Um, and then the soldiers. So maybe I'll go with the protectors for him, so they'll uh, boost my health regeneration. Mm-hmm. A bit more survivability. Cool. And what's he got to start with as his uh, range so, weapon? So you start with the with the regular nail gun. Mm -hmm. um, from there you progress to the super nail gun. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll go back to Quake there. Mm -hmm. uh, crossbow is after that, and then the shotgun is the tier 4. Okay, cool. Can you do a match where everybody's arranged? Yeah, you can You can come up with all sorts of okay. wild, uh, wild combinations. We've had guys in the studio do the... Th Three of them on the range guy that lays those proximity bombs. Yeah. And then you'll walk around a corner and the three of them have stacked three of them on top there and just Would that instantly kill you? Now's the time. Let's if go. you if you're full health and depending on who you're playing, I don't think it'll instantly kill you, but okay. it definitely Let's take you really low. And if you were at like half health, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Are there any weapons in the game where it's one hit kill kind of thing? Um not really. A lot of the abilities scale with the weapons, though. So, as I mentioned, when you get those tier fours, they can they can deal a lot of damage. And some abilities, like that template that I played earlier, yeah. Um, her that dire wounds one where she kind of dashes forward and does a bunch of strikes scales yeah. with weapon damage. Yeah. Uh, she also has one of her perks in those perk trees where every time she gets a kill, she gets a, uh, a buff that gives her 1% or 2% damage. Okay. Um, and that'll stack up the more kills she gets. Now, if she dies, those are all gone. Okay. But yeah, if you run into her um, with all those stacks and maybe with the Mega Boost buff, mm -hmm. then you could maybe get 
one-shot it, okay. but it's kind of this perfect storm where a bunch of things come together. Right. Um, off the bat, I guess. Right, right, right. I guess that tuning and balancing is a constant, it's consistent an ongoing thing. thing. Yeah, and you're getting um, feedback all yep, the time. It's yep. like this guy's way too. Exactly. Yeah, we've we've done a lot of tweaking. Did you have to nerf anybody? Did you have to take anybody right a down? A lot. Of, a lot of people have complained about Temblade. Yeah. Uh, so she has received some nerfs. Okay. Um, ranged guys have received some health buffs. Okay. Trying to make them a bit more strong ability. So yeah, we've been listening to the complaints that people have on the okay. phones and. and uh, Keep in mind, we have we can look at to it at win rates and and all that kind of stuff too. So if we see someone that's totally out of the line and like seventy percent win rate, then you know okay, let's take a look at this one. I mean, there's no other way to build a game like this exactly. than, than to work with the team that would actually play with it, yep. right? Like yep. we work with the people that would play it. What kinds of perks are those players, those early access players, getting for buying the game now, and being there with you guys? Um, so it's it's really just helping us, you know, shape the game, uh, being able to provide your feedback while we're still actively developing on it. Um, not that we're not going to listen to the community after that, but I yeah. think it's kind of like this early on, right, it, it's super important. Are they getting, like, costumes or badges or anything like that? Um, nothing announced, but, yeah, never say never. Who knows, okay. maybe we'll have a, uh, an early access supporter cosmetic that'll be exclusive. Steam forums. Steam forums, yeah, just, if you think that's a good idea. Just, just uh, request some stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I think some, some early access hats yeah. and things like that would yeah. be pretty cool, I've been right? in games that have done that, and it's always a cool thing to get. Yeah. For, for the lifers. Any safe zones in the game? Who asked that? Rukomi, thank you. So, uh, in your spawn, you get a, uh, a increased health regen. So mm -hmm. basically, it's really hard to die in there. Mm -hmm. So, I would say that's as close as it gets to safe zone. An enemy can come in there if they want, but it's kind of a losing battle because the more they're just going to keep trying to damage you, and you're just going to keep healing through it. Okay. Um, so yeah, typically you're back to your base is safe. And if you're low on health too, um, you may have seen me smashing these vending machines. There's different ones scattered around the map that give different buffs. Yeah. So this one is uh, is a health boost, and that's that's a heal. So right now, you know, I'm just barely under my max health, so I probably wouldn't want to smash it open. Okay. But yeah. if I was low and that hadn't been smashed, then yeah, I could totally smash that. And do they regen? Yeah, they have uh, they're on uh, two minute respawn timer. I think it is. Okay, cool. Yeah. So you are still whacking people with your yeah. If they're getting close, I yeah. can do that. Right? Yeah. And, and it's actually funny, a lot of people I find, you can catch them off guard. They yeah. don't expect it from the range guy. Got you. So you can play some fun mind games with that. Okay. So how far back can you go and still hit targets? Uh, let's see. Let's see if I get this. this mine. And they will leave you here. alone. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, so they're probably going to be Until you start shooting. Until I start shooting. And they're like, F you, dude. <laughs> yeah. And then they come right at you. Okay. Um, we recently added two. You can actually issue commands to your soldiers. So okay. I can tell them to follow me. I can tell them to attack or loot. Okay. So maybe next time we see a store, I'll tell them to loot. Should I actually? It's kind of cool. You can tell them to kind of do one thing while you go off and do it. Ah, oh, okay, cool. Right. So this uh, etch has uh, two abilities. Make your mark. This one here, where you kind of spray the tag on the ground. Right. And anyone standing in here, or any ally, will have increased damage. Okay. Uh, and a Molotov cocktail, which you saw through into throwing it in there. So that's a big AOE damage. Um, another cool use for it, though, is that it does a ton of damage to stores. Mm -hmm. So if you see a weapon store that's just opened, like coming up soon here. And enemies are kind of on your tail. This is the just shittiest city coffee. in the world. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like weapon stores all over the place. You would not want to live here. <laughs> um, yes, you can. <laughs> here in the window. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead and get some crossbows right there. <laughs> poor, poor, poor crossbow store. <laughs> all right, let's check a crossbow off. So this is crazy, yeah, they're going nuts. So somewhere else in this city, or in this section of the city, the other guys are going nuts on another window. Exactly, yeah. Okay. And so, yeah, it's all about, again, kind of like right. capturing these stores and taking the money from them and who can who can get their fastest, who, you know, not done. So in tomorrow's paper, all the mothers of these guys <laughs> are just unbelievably just aghast and embarrassed of their children wreaking havoc in the city. Right. And this is all because some sports team lost, pretty much, right? That's how this started? Yeah. Unbelievable. Uh, no, right now it's, it's it's locked at three on three, but yeah, in, in the future, who knows, maybe we could have a one-on-one -on -one duel mode or something like that. If there was interest, it would be one of those things again where if there was an, uh, enough demand on the forums right. from the community, it's definitely something to look at. Right, right. So yeah, you can you can kind of just hang back while you're cruising there, distracting them. And mind you, these are AI too, so real players are going to behave a little bit differently. Right, right. 
And in the real player scenario, only the characters with names over them exactly. would Those be real players. Are, yeah. Everything so, else is AI. Is AI yeah. Okay. Yep. So right now with the crossbow, um, you can see after every shot, you kind of kind of do a reload. You pull out of your back. But for mm -hmm. the nail gun, I'll switch back to that. This guy. Um, Good got, question, Tank. Yeah, you've got what's in your clip in yellow there. As you fire them, it goes down. Mm -hmm. And then you can press R to reload, or you'll just reload at the end. So you have unlimited ammo, but you can't just keep firing indefinitely. Okay, sure. okay. So do you have a clip size? So talk to me about the decision to go it alone on this, because you guys were developing this with a partner for a yep. while. And it... You know, it was uh, it was a good partnership. It was working, and yeah. then they they decided that they didn't want to go forward with this as, a, as something they would publish. But what happened then? Did you guys have a big team meeting, and you decided that you didn't want to throw that work away? You wanted to yeah, keep basically. Going? I think yeah. we knew that we that we had something fun and that we all enjoyed playing in there, and it was it wasn't ready yet, and it's still not ready, but it was close. And so, you know, with with Steam and digital distribution and stuff like that these right. days, it's never really been easier to self publish. So. Right. So yeah, it's our first time doing it. Um, we're learning a lot of lessons and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, but it's, yeah, it's been a great experience. Well, and for people that don't know, too, United Front Games is one of the biggest independent developers on earth yeah. right now. Yeah. There aren't that many enormous, yeah, you know, triple A development studios out there that aren't owned by a publishing company or a hardware manufacturer, and uh, that makes you guys very distinct. And you're certainly the biggest game in town, no pun intended, for uh, indie. <laughs> developers yeah. in Vancouver. Yeah, because there's a lot in Vancouver, but a lot of them are kind of subsidiaries of, of larger guys, right? Yeah. And even large ones themselves have offices here. But you guys have always worked with publishers on every one of your yeah. products. Sony a couple of times, yeah. uh, Square, you did some stuff on the uh, Halo Master Chief collection yep. as well. Um, Disney on uh, Infinity. Oh, Disney Infinity. Before. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. Oh my god. That, that was brutal. I mean, we're still feeling that. I just got a big Skylander shipment yesterday. I'm excited to play that, but yeah. I'm missing that... that uh, I mean, we would have got Rogue One, Disney Infinity stuff. I know, stuff. I know. Unbelievable. It was, it was yeah. pretty cool. I, I'm not, like, I hadn't done a lot of Toys to Life stuff or yeah. other, but uh, playing in the office, it was a lot of fun. It was a yeah. cool concept. I yeah. love your characters and yeah. stuff. Yeah, no, I'm a huge fan. I love the Lego. All of them are so, so cool. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, rest in peace, Disney Infinity. So you've had, as a, as a AAA studio, you've kind of had every kind of challenge development-wise and also sort of industry wise yeah, because yeah. there's been a lot of tumultuous kind of time in this business but this is the first time that you guys are publishing your own thing yeah. and getting into it so yeah, how is everybody doing doing well i think yeah. i mean it's it's uh <laughs> like i said lots of lessons learned it's a it's a big new world for us but yeah it's going well it's exciting yeah is it cool to have that one? I mean, you guys have always had a community to deal with with your mod nation and yep. with Little Big Planet Carding, uh, even around uh, Sleeping Dogs. You were always good at sort of connecting with the fan base out there, and certainly the the play share create thing meant you had to be with yeah. with that group of people for a big time. So, totally. did all of that kind of prepare you to sort of you know build that community relation stuff and work with the, uh, the the players out there yeah I think so um, I mean having community managers and all that is kind of kind of new to us like that's a new thing but definitely working with players and things like that yeah, yeah. we've experienced with that before right and things like that. right is there uh, well speaking of that that creativity is there any kind of internal discussion about a potential editor for this that would allow you to customize stuff or mod this up like crazy? Um, nothing yet. I did see a, uh, a forum post though where someone thought it would be cool to have kind of a logo designer so you could really mm. customize your crew and if you were right. with three of your friends so you and you could all have all the same kind of tag on your, yeah. on your jacket. I thought that, that was a really cool idea. That makes um, complete sense. Yeah, again, yeah. nothing nothing announced, but if you have any ideas around that, by all means, I'll do it. How about a Mod Nation version of this, where everything's <laughs> a little a little toy to life? <laughs> a bunch of sack boys running around. Yeah, you know, playing on all the stuff you guys have worked on. That'd be pretty funny. That's awesome. So we're, again, we're at the last phase here. It looks like the enemy team's going for this big store. Okay. I'm going to upgrade my are they, shotgun. Are we going to see the guards coming yeah, around? Yeah, I think too? they're fighting the guards right now, so maybe we can interrupt them. So what do the guards look like? Are those guys there? Oh, okay, okay cool. Kind of so suddenly our 30 characters on screen, right? Yeah. yeah. Becomes That's how many? Two. So you got three guards uh, at each big store. Okay. So another 60. So another, uh, but on screen max. On screen, yeah. 35, you 33? Yeah, uh, 33, yeah. I don't think yeah. you can get both. Big Crazy. That's a lot of math. Yeah, it's, uh, it was just a lot of tech time just getting, there you go. Yeah. Guards. Uh, yeah, challenge getting. I, getting I just I want Batman to just swoop, <laughs> to swoop in, in. <laughs> and and just take Listen out everyone. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> 
<laughs> that would be awesome. That's very cool. Yeah. Any, any other questions for Travis? Uh, or UFG? Okay. Yeah, go yeah, ahead. So we can go again. So yeah. seven leaders right now, uh, with two more planned, and then beyond that, I'm sure more will be in the pipeline. And 45K. thirteen lead, uh, lieutenants, sorry, that okay. you can uh, have with your leader as well. And then there seems to be a lot of design around three. Yeah. Right. Three yeah. versus three versus three yeah. versus three, or you know. And, uh, and three factions right now. Yeah. yeah. Was that intentional? <laughs> no. Um, I guess yeah. But yeah. Design, some of the design I guess it's rock paper way. scissors, exactly. right? Rock, paper, scissors. Okay. Yeah. Smash, and grab. Smash and grab. Yeah. Love it. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Anything else, Blake? Anybody else? Okay. Yeah, I've asked a, a whole ton of questions. Why don't you play for a little bit? Sure. And just tell us exactly what, what you're I'm, doing. What I'm yeah. doing here? I'll shut up for a little while. No. Okay. So yeah, yeah. this is we we're kind of battling for this big store here. There's eleven thousand dollars in here, if I'm not mistaken. We've almost got fifty k. So actually, I could. I don't have it probably loot this and win. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's kind of, at the end of the match, it, it usually focuses around one of these big swords. There's two of them that open up the end, and since there's so much money in there, it's always kind of a big point of contestion. Like I said, with those guards, too, you can't really solo it. Yeah. Um, some of the better players can. They'll send their minions in to kind of distract the guards, and then they'll pick them off. But if you have the guards on you, they do a lot of damage and are really tough to take down. It so seems bring a friend. like a natural that the guards would be <laughs> yeah, another exactly. faction, yeah. right? Yeah. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Send your ideas, Send your ideas to the Smash and Grab <laughs> Steam uh, discussion, discussion forums. forums. Yeah. There you go. And you're, you got me to level three, buddy. I love it. Moving Travis, so good to have you in here, man. Thank, Thank you, you very me. much. Absolutely. The game looks like a ton of fun, and Thanks. everybody can play it for free yeah. all weekend long on, uh, oh, on Steam. Steam. Yep, just go to the page and... And, up. and if you join uh, the early access, if you actually buy the game after that, Travis will make sure you get a hat. <laughs> in the, here first. In the game. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks, guys. All right, we'll be back soon with another Vix Basement. But for now, Stitcher! Have, your, have yourselves a great weekend, okay? Bye. Bye.